Turning now to the economy, the Labor Department says 333,000 Americans joined the line for unemployment benefits last week. That's 5,000 more than the week before. And rising home prices are helping folks who've been drowning in debt in the second quarter of this year. 26% of American homeowners owed more than their mortgages than their homes were worth. That's down from 29% a year earlier. Daniel Nottingham is with a Chicago couple struggling to keep their home. Connie and Vance Brown plan to spend the rest of their lives in the Chicago condo they bought 14 years ago. Do you think you'll have to leave this place? I don't want to leave, and he doesn't want to leave. But they may not have a choice. They stopped making mortgage payments two years ago, soon after they lost their full-time jobs. Connie found part-time work counseling troubled teens, and Vance, who's a computer tech, has only been able to find a job as a dishwasher. What do you do now? Hoping and praying that I get some work, and hoping and praying that my husband will get a better job, and hoping and praying we get back up on our feet. A six-month grace period they arranged with their lender is over. Foreclosure is likely. They say they can't leave Chicago to find better jobs because they owe $50,000 more than their condo is worth. It's called being underwater. There are more than 731,000 homeowners in Chicago in the same situation. That's more than any other U.S. city. Rising home prices have helped reduce the number of underwater homeowners nationwide by 1.5 million. But the percentage of those underwater in the hardest hit markets remains high. 55% in Las Vegas, 49% in Orlando. Full recovery depends on people like the Browns landing new jobs. We were middle class, you know, and we were proud of it because we worked our way up for that. Do you have somewhere to go? We have nowhere to go at all. Nowhere to go. Only thing I know the places that we would be going is out on the streets. A New York Federal Reserve study found homeowners underwater are a third less likely to move. And Nora, the more debt they owe, the greater the chances they won't leave.